First at five this morning, a final farewell for a state trooper killed while on duty. Friends and family set to gather in East Hartford today to lay trooper first class Kevin Miller to rest. We have News 8's Brian Spiros live for us this morning with the details on this. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Laura. No doubt a very difficult day ahead for the family and colleagues of Trooper First Class Kevin Miller. His funeral will be held later this morning here at Rentschler Field in East Hartford. Thousands of people are expected to be here as a show of support. Now, yesterday in the afternoon through the evening hours, there was a steady stream of people as they arrived here for calling hours. And before Trooper Miller arrived here, his body was brought from the funeral home to Troop C in Tallinn one last time during a procession. A very emotional Emotional scene as his 13 year old son and 10 year old daughter got out of the limo to lay a white wreath right in front of the barracks as a tribute to their dad. A sobering reminder that in the midst of everything that's going on, two children have lost their father. Trooper Miller also leaves behind a mother and a sister, as well as his former wife. And not only did he serve our state, but he also served our country. He was a Marine in the Gulf War. Law enforcement from across our state and the entire country attending these services as a sign of respect, all of them and their families forever connected by the work they do every single day. I just have a tremendous amount of admiration for someone who feels that call to, to give themselves so selflessly. Hope I never have to go through what they're going through. Trooper First Class Miller was killed last Thursday while on duty. His cruiser slammed into the back of a tractor trailer right along I 84 in Tolland. The medical examiner ruling his death an accident. The cause of that crash remains under investigation. The funeral is set to begin at 11 o'clock this morning. We, of course, will have the very latest on News 8 at noon. We're told the burial will be private. Reporting live this morning from East Hartford, I'm Brian Spiros. Back to you.